Okay guys, so here's our six liter LS. Uh, I purchased those those engine mounts you guys can see there. I'm not even sure where I got these things from, but they, they seem to be the easiest solution for my application here. So these plates were originally about four and a quarter inches long, and I hacked off, or I should say cut off about uh, two and a quarter inches just to make them shorter. So now the center distance from that bolt to the end is about two inches. Uh, so that seemed to be the best. I did have this engine in the uh, in the engine bay already, and I figured out that that length would be probably the best fit. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. So the distance here from plate to plate is about three and three eighths. You can see that, or close enough, three and three eighths, three and a half, somewhere around there. So let us go to the engine bay here. So the problem I ran into, the original K member, this side, the uh, driver's side where the uh, steering shaft is, it was only about three and a half inches wide. So what was happening was, since that distance between those two plates over there on the engine is three and a half to three and three eighths, that one plate was actually falling off the end of this. So there was nowhere to weld. Well, this one here is actually a little longer. It's about four inches. So this one wasn't falling off, but this one was. So basically, one would fit, one wouldn't, and no matter where I put it, I wouldn't uh, get, uh, I couldn't get them both on at the same time. So a solution to that is, I basically cut a couple eighth inch thick steel plates here, and they're about five and an eighth long each. So now we've got way more latitude to move the engine back and forth, and the uh, the mounting plates on the engine, they won't fall off the end of these this K member anymore because it's so small. They're actually the same size as uh, the distance between those two plates there on the uh, on the engine. So, uh, so I just welded these in last night, and uh, I plan to fit this engine, get it in the best fit, tack them, and then pull it out and weld the uh, the engine mounts securely to the to the K member here. So, just another quick little point here, guys, is uh, when I set this up to drop this engine in, you measure this here. We're getting about uh, it's a 2.970 approximately. So when I welded uh, the plates in there, I actually had both washers that were supplied with this engine mount kit on the inside, as you guys can see here, just to give me a little clearance. Now each one of these is 70 thou. So basically I tacked it into position with those washers on either side of the bushing that I just showed you, which was 2.970, just to give me a little clearance, just in case these things didn't move around. And they actually did, when, uh, when I fully welded them, they actually did move a little closer, but at least we know that it'll now fit. So we have a little bit of clearance. Same thing on that, guy, that side there, I did the exact same thing. So when you're setting this up, put those washers on the inside, drop the engine in where you're gonna put it, and then uh, this will give you a little clearance because if I didn't put these in there, I'd never get those bushings in without having to force them after I've welded them. Because when you do weld all the way around like that, things do move around. Because now I just measured this and I got uh, 2.980, so it's like 10 thousandths bigger than my bushing on the engine mount there. So it'll still fit, but as you can see, it's moved around because both those uh, washers there, when you add them together, they're 140 thou thick, 70 thou each. So theoretically, I should be over three inches, three, uh, 3.050 or something like that, but it did move around, so. And that one over there, when I measured it, it's actually 3.050. This one's like 2.975, uh, so it, it did move, as you can, as I just uh, checked. But anyways, just a, a quick little tip there, if you guys are gonna do this. So, I, I'm sure I'll get it in here, and uh, it should be fine, and I'll uh, put another scene in when I do. Okay guys, so I just uh, tacked the uh, motor mounts in, as you can see. And as you can also see, it's, well maybe you can't, but it's it's relatively level. Um, so trial and error, at first I cut the, the motor mount plates all the same, but then it, would, it wouldn't level up. So this one is actually a quarter inch shorter than the driver's side. This is the passenger side. So, yeah, so for some reason, I think the factory mount on the driver's side is a quarter inch higher, 
But uh, yeah, so trial and error, a lot of bullshit. So now the plates are tacked in. So the procedure now is to take the uh, motor mount bolts out, pull the engine out and then fully weld, as you guys can see, it's just tacked now, but then fully weld the uh, the plates to the uh, the receiver plate that I welded on the, uh, on the K member here. It actually worked out pretty good because as you can see, uh, distancing while well, it's right right above the uh, actual K member that's there so there's no real force on the overhang of the uh, eighth inch plates which is good so I guess this is where the engine is and again it's level so that's good I have to play around with that a bit and then again quarter of an inch off of this side versus the driver side so the driver side plates are quarter inch longer and uh, Pretty parallel here. Hopefully the transmission 4L85E fits. So pretty parallel here. That looks good. Lots of clearance for a tool for a wrench to uh, for the transmission bolts. Uh, looks like the, uh, well hopefully the manifolds fit. Turned upside down. And this side's good. We've got clearance everywhere. And even over there we got lots of clearance. I'll bring you around to the other side here in a second. So again, they're all, the plates are tacked to the receiver plates, as you can see. Positioning is good. Uh, it's level. I thought they, the K members were exact, were same, same on both sides, but they're not. And here you go. Here's a picture of the booster, factory booster. This is a flux body. Uh, we've got lots of room there. Lots of room here for the manifold turned upside down. Power steering pump. So the power steering is right, well the rack is there, the Mustang rack. Our oil pan clears nicely. When I jack this, when I have the engine in, I'll add another scene here and I'll show you how it looks from the bottom. Um, after I get this, these uh, mounts fully welded and uh, get the engine in here, bolt it up. And then we'll go in the bottom of the car, jack this whole thing up on a lift and uh, have a look at the bottom. So anyways guys, it's, uh, it's in place, finally. So it took a little bit of working, but uh, looks like it, Looks pretty good, and I think the alternator will clear because I put a I put a straight edge across. I know the center of the hood is higher, even though it looks like it's pretty damn close. And uh, I think we have a lot of uh, height here because the truck intake is pretty tall, but it looks like we got about 13, 14 inches before it hits before the top of the uh, the cowl area there. So, and I know we need about 12 to 13 to clear everything on the truck intake. So I think we're actually in pretty good position here, guys. So anyway, so I'll uh, take this engine out, finish welding those uh, the plates to the uh, receiver plates on the engine mounts, and then uh, add another scene to this. Okay, guys. So as you can see, engine is pulled out again. After I tacked the uh, the plates in for the uh, motor mounts, I fully welded them, as you guys can see here. And I also clear coated the uh, the bare metal there, just so it doesn't rust. I don't think it will, but anyways, so there we go, guys. There's the uh, motor mounts in. Mortar sits in nice. It's level. Um, yeah, so I did that today. Uh, procedure was, as you guys know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put the video up and uh, yeah, position the engine. Passenger side was a quarter inch shorter than driver's side for some reason. That's the only way I could get it level. And... Uh, Everything worked out. Yeah, we have lots of clearance and hopefully the transmission fits, but we'll see. I'm about two inches ahead of the uh, the firewall there. So, uh, yeah, so it uh, came up pretty good, guys. Um, anything else? Yeah, so now basically the washers, they go, the washers that I use for spaces, they go on the outside of the plates. So basically behind the bolt and then right behind the nut on the outside. So I have uh, clearance now, so this thing should just drop in. It won't be a uh, size on size basically so so yeah so that there's engine mounts guys okay everybody looks like we got uh, the engine here in project turbo ls installed went pretty good um as you can see there's the engine mounts that we welded yesterday uh through bolt this is the uh, driver's side And again, here is the uh, passenger side. So basically, procedure was get the hoist in here, drop it down, get a bolt in and started, 
kind of hammer it through or turn it in one side and then move on to the other side and get that side in. So actually went pretty good. This thing fits pretty good here. We'll see how that uh, the map sensor hold down if it clears the hood. I might have to put a shorter fastener up there. But uh, it's in, so now we can start building up and fabbing up the turbo system and uh, see where everything goes. Hopefully the transmission will fit. I'll give you a, a view of the back here. We got quite a bit of room. Like the intake will, of course, come off when we put the in when the, we install the tranny, so we have easy access to the tranny bolts here. Flywheel, you can see. And again, the intake. That pressure gauge on the rails. Yeah, at least it's in. That's good. And uh, yeah, it looks good. I think I'll put the turbo on the uh, high and on the uh, passenger side here. Battery goes right here. So we'll see if we relocate that, but I'm not sure. So let's see how everything goes. All right, guys, there goes the uh, video for the engine install and uh, fabbing up those, uh, those motor mounts. And uh, went pretty good. A little bit of work, a couple days, a few hours a day, and uh, it's in. So uh, the next step is we'll fabricate, uh, or I'll actually go put the transmission and get that uh, transmission mount fabricated. Get that in, make sure everything fits, everything's good, and then we'll start fabricating the turbo system. But uh, yeah, so there's another video, Project Turbo LS. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it and maybe you learned something. And if not, that's okay too, just for entertainment purposes. Anyway, see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, guys.